Hi guys, it's Daryl from Platinum Camper Trailers in Brisbane. Today we're doing a review on our On The Road series of the Cadet SE. This is a new model that we've uh, brought up from the Cadet S2 model and today we're going to run you through some features and do a review overall on the trailer. So let's talk about a little bit of history with the Cadet model. We built the trailer for Cape York. We've had to incorporate more storage with the trailer. It's something that's important to a lot of people because they like to take a fair amount of gear, especially when they do overland trips, whether it be in Cape York or whether it be in uh, Simpson Desert or anything like that. So let's have a quick look at the new SE model. The jerry can holders, gas bottle holders are now on the front of the trailer on the drawbar. They used to be located along the side, but we've now moved them to the front. The actual drawbar has been lengthened by approximately 150, 200 mil to accommodate all these holders on the front. We've still got the same toolbox as with the uh, previous model with a large fridge slide in there. So for example, Evercool 65 litre, no problem at all. Plenty of space there for a, for a bigger fridge. You can go right up to an 80 litre. The other side of the toolbox, a large storage area. Uh, you can put all your annexes walls, floor, anything you want in there. We still retain these tubes on the side here. Now, we mainly use that for tent poles uh, that you need to use fairly quickly. They're water sealed, they've got a rubber seal in them, so uh, they'll keep the, uh, the poles reasonably dry. The second thing with this trailer, which is uh, the biggest benefit for this year, is the storage on the side. Approximately about 200 mil of storage depth. It's now got a CD. FM radio in it as well, USB, 12 volt outlets as well, remote control for the radio. And another storage hatch in here as well. Customers have given us feedback, they want a little bit more storage in the trailer and this is what we've actually given them now. Let's have a quick look at the kitchen. Still retaining the uh, four burner stove with the uh, locking tab to lock it in. Still have our servery on the side here. As previous model, Nice, big, deep sink. Nothing worse trying to wash a plate up in a little bit of water. So gas burners, you can put heavy pots on that. Self-closing doors. And uh, we've got protectors for also the uh, uh, gas when you're traveling as well. The trailer is fully gas complied. So that means you don't have to sit a gas bottle down uh, on the ground here. So basically, you take this lead, you plug the lead, into this quick connect here. You have a bayonet fitting on the back of the trailer. That's where this fitting uh, will bolt straight in there like that. That's connected to the gas bottles on the front. Turn your gas bottles on, you can have a hot cup of tea. So let's have a quick look at the other side of the uh, Cadet SE. Again, storage, absolutely fantastic for um, all the things that you need for camping. Accessible battery system. Now, the previous model you had no access to the battery system. It was actually held underneath the trailer. Uh, we've now moved uh, the battery and the power management system to a cabinet on the outside. 100 amp hour battery. There is a provision for a second battery in there so that you can run dual batteries. Full management system, Anderson plug on the management system if you want to run some more 12 volt devices. And also our switch block here, which is fridge, accessories, water pump, radio and lights. The fuses are actually held underneath this front panel, so they're resettable fuses. So if you do throw a fuse, push the button in, they reset. One of the best features with the Cadet AC is our tap that's on the drawbar. That's fantastic for hot water systems, for showering, that type of thing. The uh, water tank is 110 litres. Stainless steel water tank, food grade lines that go right through. All Platinum camper trailers come with a spare wheel. We use a 235 7515 Toyota stud pattern, which is important because uh, most four wheel drives will run a uh, Toyota stud pattern, so that can be handy if you start to run out of spare wheels. Nice, ample stone garden. It's a mesh. You don't want a solid one because you don't need that rock to go back into your four wheel drive. You need to slow the object down so it actually falls to the ground. Polyblock hitch, rated to two tonne by Titanium Accessories. Rated uh, chains with shackles and also uh, hammer locks, which are all rated. Handbrake, seven pin plug, and also we provide you an Anderson plug on the front so you can recharge the batteries as you drive along. 
There's a uh, locking feature here with our uh, holders here where that won't come out. If so if that undoes, that won't come out. So we need to do that to release that properly like that. As with all our off-road trailers, they all come with a off-road suspension package, which is independent suspension, plus 10-inch electric brakes with full off-road tyres. So this is the full off-road camper trailer. So the first thing we need to do is take the cover off. We need to undo all the straps. Now we need to locate the zip. Lift the Velcro as you go, unzip it, don't rush it. All right, we've undone our zip, so now we need to fold it off. Straight on top of the toolbox. We have to pull the floor down. Pretty simple, just drag it down like that. We get one of our spreader bars. So these are the ones with the uh, half moon on them. So we take our half moon, we locate the first frame. We put the half moon in uh, approximately the middle. We can hold it there quite well. Uh, we make sure that this whole spreader is fully extended. So all we do is just push it up and over it goes. We lift up our back section. That's on a strut system and that'll sit up there like that. Next step is we need to go inside and just uh, put our two number six poles in. All we gotta do is just push the poles out, which will help you with the floor. Now we've got a full walkthrough into the main tent. Pretty quick process. Uh, we've got all the creature comforts of home. Our entertainment system, queen size memory foam mattress, plenty of living area. Main tent comes with a full bucket floor. Uh, that's important because uh, when the uh, weather is a bit uh, wet, uh, it'll stop all the water getting through. Plenty of ventilation, full midgy screens right through the whole trailer. One of the biggest improvements with the uh, Cadet SE is that we've now incorporated our famous dome roof. It helps with uh, water pooling and it's been quite a successful feature in some of our other models. The biggest question I get with awnings is how easy are they to set up? Look, to be honest folks, one person can do it no problem at all. Two is really easy. That looks like Paul. Now that looks like thirsty work. How's that? Good. You why, look thirsty. Yeah, why aren't you at work? Oh, you know, I knew you'd be thirsty by now, putting this up by yourself. Cheers, big ears. You can talk. Before you set up your awning, consult your tent map to familiarise yourself with various poles and where they go. The first thing I like to do is pre-hang all our crossbars. After we've done that, we will get our poles for the outside of the awning. We'll lay them down on the ground in a reasonable order. So as we go along to set it up, the poles are there ready to go. It's always good to have a second person just hold it up, just takes the weight off it. Once it's started in the zip, it will just uh, flow. You'll get to a point on the main tent where you'll get to the peak with the zip and it'll be too high for most people. So a little tip for you is to grab one of your cross poles. And we actually use this here to hook through the zipper and it'll help us uh, zip the uh, awning along the peak. Once the awning is zipped onto the tent, pull down the weather flap to prevent any rain coming through the zipper. Now grab your poles and start assembling the frame to hang the awning on. Lengthen the poles as needed and fasten the Velcro straps and rope down the awning as needed. The Cadet SE comes standard with walls and floor for additional living space. Attach the walls and side walls with Velcro and zipper attachments. What do you think of the room with that? It's a good sized room, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And plenty of ventilation right through with all the midgy you screens see? all opened up. Plus the amount of storage on the inside there is absolutely phenomenal. I, I, I absolutely love it. Well, that's all we have time for today. Why not call into one of Platinum Camper's showrooms to see this amazing camper trailer for yourself? Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram and of course platinumcampers.com.au. Stay tuned, stay safe, see you next time.